Um, if you want something, go get it. It's in the reverse. I will not be intimidated. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. And you've got red on you. So the overall energy is someone um, maybe a little upset, pissed off. They've got red on their face. They can't take something from you. Someone was wanting to take something from you. They could have been um, trying to intimidate you or they're trying to still intimidate you. Maybe even threaten your life. And um, you're not intimidated. You're not scared of these bitches. So someone's looking a little stupid right now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Someone should have left well enough alone. If something was broke, they should have fixed it. <clears throat> you're my knight in shining armor in the reverse so someone was not a knight in shining armor um someone didn't rescue you maybe you needed help and someone didn't want to help you it was like hurting cats so there could be a group that's running around acting like their heads cut off somebody who was not your knight in shining armor could be connected to a group of these people who are trying to intimidate you they wanted something they may have tried to take it they didn't get it um in the upright they're trying you're not intimidated so they're still trying to intimidate you and they're looking stupid um something could have broke or something is breaking uh, maybe they're breaking things intentionally trying to get some insurance money maybe someone has a life insurance policy but there's somebody who is not your knight in shining armor <clears throat> your knight in shining armor who is connected to these group of people who's trying to intimidate you take something from you and it's like hurting cats they don't listen they're doing their own thing um it's like everyone's just kind of um pissed off with each other and fighting something is slow something is slow moving you could be moving slow somebody thought something was on someone thought they were on point on fleek um it's not working i heard game on someone was trying to play games a group of people was trying to play games with you Someone's working really hard to intimidate you and scare you, and these people just need to leave it the fuck alone. You can't invoke fear in someone who's not scared, but someone's trying. Someone is faced with heavy burdens. This could be you, so something could be moving slow. Someone could be, um, you know, placing burdens on somebody else, and so something feels really heavy. Maybe because something has to move slow, like a drain, like a clog. Um, something could, you know, just be kind of stuck or stagnant, um, getting like heavy burdens. I intend to live forever. So far, so good. So someone's not going to live forever. Maybe they thought they were, especially doing some sort of spell work, whether it was legit spell work or throwing rocks, hiding hands. Somebody was intentionally trying to break things, um, whether it's your heart, physical things in your environment. Something is broken. Oh, someone's mood swings broke. Mm, the chains on my mood, mood swing broke. Someone um, could be suffering from some sort of bipolar, or someone could be lashing out in anger because of what they've done, and it didn't work. Love your enemy to piss them off. So you do things with love, happiness. These people are trying to piss you off. They're your enemies. They're your ops. They're not your friends. They never were. I want somebody different. Oh, don't tell me one of these group members fucked around and fell in love with the Divine Empress. Somebody wants someone different and someone's pissed off. So while someone was trying to intimidate you or your ex who was not your knight in shining armor, somebody doesn't want whoever they're stuck with. An apple a day keeps anyone away if you throw it hard enough. So if someone comes after you, you might like start throwing apples or rocks at their ass. So if someone like pulls in your driveway, knocks on your front door. I just see like someone picking up rocks, throwing it at them. Like, get out of here. Being near you makes me feel less stupid. Like you're not interested in being any near this person or anyone within this group. It pisses you off that they think that you're stupid. Because actually being around them makes you feel less stupid. Because they think that you're that... Like, it's offensive. They're, it's like they're insulting your intelligence. Somebody wants you to back that ass up. You's a big, fine woman. Won't you back that ass up? Girl, who's you playing with? Back that ass up. That's sideways. Someone wants you to back that ass up. So that's now near future energy. Someone doesn't want whoever they're with. They want you.
sucks to be them, whoever this is. He could be watching you, driving by your house, stalking you, spying on you. Like, maybe that was the initial goal, was to intimidate you, stalk you, and watch you. And the more they watched you, the more this person, like, fell in love with you, and they sure as hell don't want to be attached to whoever they're with. Because there was some sort of fighting or altercation going on, because something didn't go their way. They were not able to scare you, intimidate you, or steal something from you. So something really didn't work out. And this person is spending less and less time at home. They don't want to be home with whoever they're attached to. They could be finding reasons to leave or excuses to leave. Uh, someone's a liar. Be careful if someone's sneaky. Someone's lying. Like I said, someone's trying to come up with reasons to leave, to sneak around, um, to watch someone. Someone else is in the middle. Someone's trying to sabotage this. So someone's lying and they're being sneaky. There's They're connected to someone else. Or there's someone else that's involved in this or stopping something from happening. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So someone may be trying to close the gap with you. They could be at a distance from you or there's too much emotional damage to repair something. But someone may be trying to fix that or close the gap. I'm just getting like a close the gap energy. Someone wanting to close... A distance make less distance between you hmm so there's something significant about a family someone could be distancing from their family or there could be a distance within a family it could be a breaking up of a family or this could have to do with people within your family there's going to be a revealing. This came out sideways. There's some sort of revealing that's going to take place because somebody was playing games. There's a family here that was playing games, whether it's your neighbors, a family, a group here that are all related to someone else or to you. There's a group, a family here that's playing games with somebody and there's something being revealed about this situation. Maybe somebody wants to tell you the truth. If they've been watching you and spying on you and they're like having these feelings about you, fantasizing about you, um, you know, they know something isn't growing. They can't rest. They're restless. This is all in the reverse. And they're weak. So there's someone here who's weak. They're not strong. They can't rest. And something is not growing for them or they can't repair something that was broken possibly within their own family. Like if this is a bad marriage or something like that. Because someone's playing too much, too many games, they're weak, they're falling for the low-hanging fruit, they're easily tempted. And this could be even you being tempted, um, or being tempting to them. Not that you're tempting them, you're just living your life. But there's someone here um, who feels like you may be tempting them. You may be needing to protect yourself, protect your kids, your energy, time, money, energy, resources... Or somebody feels that way about you, um, someone's feeling really protective and they may want to reveal something to you because the reveal came out sideways. So somebody wants to reveal something or is going to reveal something and it could be a measure of protecting you or feeling like they need to protect you against something. Maybe they know what your family is up to, what your family is doing, if this is a family or if it's a family of criminals or whoever this is. Um, somebody feels the need to protect another person or a group or family group like maybe you and your children it doesn't have to be like their group because i feel like somebody doesn't want to protect this group or cover for them anymore they're not interested in that let's see if we can get some more information on who these people are so there was illusions there's a magician here in the reverse there's a victory for you queen of swords because there's a thief here. Someone created illusions to steal from you, rob from you, and get you left out in the cold, leave you out in the Five of Pentacles. And someone was obsessed with this. They suffered from some sort of addiction or obsession. This could be with money, property, an obsession with you, um, stealing. Like, maybe they get a thrill from this criminal activity. Um... You have a Ten of Cups situation, so you could told could have told the truth about your family stability and your security here. Maybe about how close your family is or how close you are to your children. Maybe you guys, you know, have a good relationship. But there's a Ten of Cups situation here, and someone's thinking about money or work. So this could be you, maybe working on 
how you're going to get some sort of money or someone else is thinking about money so that they can have this ten of cups with you. Someone brought themselves under judgment because they rushed in with some sort of lies here and they're bound in traps. So someone bound themselves by telling some sort of lies or rushing in and speaking an untruth, causing disruption and chaos. Someone is bound and this can also be someone getting arrested or being trapped mentally, physically or emotionally within a situation because of whatever lie they told. Because they're addicted and obsessed with somebody else. Someone's bound to a partnership. So someone lied about a partnership or a connection or a union. Then we have the King of Cups and something being laid to rest with the King of Cups. So there could be a new cycle of emotions getting ready to come when something is revealed or exposed. Someone may be revealing their emotions for you or feelings towards you. Your heavy burdens are being laid to rest because you're getting a new start, new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, this could be a large lump sum of money. But I feel like this would be in the form of like a new relationship possibly, especially with this King of Cups here. But you also have money coming towards you as well. So it could be money and love. So love and marriage, business, love and business. Whatever the case, positive outcome for both, I feel like... There's a King of Cups who may be wanting to come towards you and make you a business offer or make you a job offer, but they also have a secret um, ulterior motive. They also have feelings for you. So this may be someone who wants to work with you or partner up with you. Um, maybe after this group stalked you and harassed you enough and realized they couldn't win, maybe they want to make you a job offer. <laughs> But somebody doesn't want to be partnered up with whoever they're partnered with and they feel bound and trapped to this but there's a new start new beginning and money coming in for someone here someone's being stealthy and sneaky too so someone is being really stealthy and sneaky and there was a message that was sent by someone who was really evil the start in the reverse someone who did not have divine protection messenger so someone was trying to send a message with dark intentions like a warning someone was trying to warn you trying to intimidate you this is that intimidation tactic and someone's being stealthy and sneaky about coming towards you to make you an offer that you've been waiting for there's a group here that's scrambling to get something pulled together because someone was not held in high honor so there could be a group here um that support you or that are scrambling to get something done or accomplished um, before you get this offer, it's like someone's trying to beat the clock because someone is not respectable at all and they were trying to send a message and they were really trying to threaten you and possibly your life. And these threats may not have been empty threats. It may not have just been an intimidation. Although that was the point, it was meant to intimidate you. These threats could have real meaning behind them or real intention or purpose behind it. Yeah, something didn't grow for this person. They thought they were going to get some sort of money. They planted seeds. If this was some sort of contract or shady business stealing involving you trying to rip you off, whatever seeds they planted, it didn't work because you feel less stupid standing around these people while they underestimated you and your intelligence. Maybe they thought you were so traumatized you wouldn't be able to think straight. Um, you're smarter than the whole bunch put together. All right, so whatever bullshit... They were planting it didn't work because they were missing a very key piece of information they're not awakened they're not enlightened and you are so there's a big piece of information here they failed to see maybe they just didn't want to see it because they judged a book by its cover and they judged you prematurely but that's on them not you because you're moving on to calmer waters doesn't matter what they think it's not what you know it's what you can prove but you don't prove anything to anyone, so you just let people think what they want about you. Yeah, they were missing a key important piece of the puzzle when they were trying to put these heavy burdens on you. The fact that they would bring themselves under judgment with this partnership that they were connected to to keep you bound and trapped. So this person who was not your knight in shining armor that is connected to this group. Someone wants to date you and they're, they're getting educated with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Someone wants to come towards you with an offer, 
and there's a message so there's a message of truth someone wants to come towards you with an offer and a message of truth here i heard a peace offering someone wants to make a peace offering so i don't know whatever that is supposed to be whatever that means to you whatever it's going to be it can be different for everyone if someone wants to bring you a peace offering Then we have the Queen of Cups that came out sideways. So that could be you. If you're a Divine Femme. And then we have the King of Cups. So this is someone... I don't want to say it. It could be your Divine Counterpart. I don't know if this is the piece of shit who was supposed to be your knight in shining armor and who's been trying to manipulate you. Or if this is someone within the group who somehow your divine counterpart, but we have the ending out of a cycle, closing out of a cycle of a partnership and someone being bound and trapped. Someone was bound by a partnership. That's no longer the case. So if you, so this could be your divine counterpart or was at one time was supposed to be, and someone could have been trying to set themselves free from this situation. If this is a spiritual contract, you could have set yourself free from the situation, but someone may not be wanting to let you go. Someone doesn't want this contract to end. Okay, so there's a group here that's in despair. All these wands, all these people, five or more people, up to five or five or more people are in despair because they're not getting what they want. There was a practitioner here that's significant, so they could have had hired a practitioner to do some shit. Your ex could have been a practitioner. There's an emotional situation because of all the heavy burdens that they brought upon themselves, the attention they brought to themselves, especially with this illegal activity. And also, because of your heavy burden, someone wants to be compassionate towards you. And you could be a mother figure, if you're a divine femme, or a father figure. But I feel like this would be more of a targeted thing for a divine femme who would be, like, alone or single. And that's because you're a star. So, you could be a star. And you can also be a masculine in your feminine energy. Men get targeted, too. But I feel like this is a group who thought there was a female who'd be an easy target. Someone wants to be compassionate to this star and help them out. And that has this group all kinds of fucked up. Because I feel like this person could be a part of their group. And there's a gold-digging ass queen of pentacles that was trying to stop someone from getting a message. Or receiving a message. Um, or sending a message. So this is a feminine practitioner, Queen of Pentacles, Gold Digger, and the reverse that didn't want a message to be sent out or was trying to stop someone from receiving a message. They didn't want someone to know that someone was like interested in them or they were trying to stop them from finding out what they were doing to this divine femme. They didn't want someone to find out what they were doing. They were trying to hide it. They thought they were being sneaky and stealthy. And it could even be this masculine you're you're the person who was supposed to be your knight in shining armor there's a group here that doesn't want someone to know what they've been doing to you behind the scenes because they're going to get their asses handed to them by this person they could be the leader of this group and you didn't even know it or you do know it but there's someone here who is high ranking within this group or organization whatever it is who has their eye on you and if you've had some crazy things happening and you wondered like um like how did i get out of this or like someone you know when something happens and you have that feeling that someone up above is looking out for you kind of thing you may have had that happen a few times and you may not have been able to figure out like what the hell's going on there's someone that's got to be watching out for me because this is just unbelievable like you know you have a lot of bad shit that happens to you but then there's some good things that may have happened to you, and that may be an indication that this is your message. Um, like if recently or within the last, you know, um, I would say three to six months, you know, within the last three to six months, you know, we'll say up to six months from the time that you possibly see this message. If you um, had an experience, like say you got pulled over by a cop or something, and there was a situation where your car should have gotten impounded or something like that, uh, maybe you're registration was expired or something and um 
you were afraid of what was going to happen. You thought you were going to get a ticket. Maybe you couldn't afford. And the person, and maybe you've had such bad experiences with police officers before, right? I'm just using this as an example. But then he just lets you go with the warning and tells you to get it fixed. And maybe the next person that pulls you over won't be as nice as they are about it. Like, and you're sitting there wondering, what? Like, huh? Like, <laughs> and then somehow by a miracle, like maybe the next day or like, you know, in the very near future, like something happens to where you would get the money um, to get a registration or, you know, something would happen. Maybe you didn't have any groceries in the house and all of a sudden you got a donation, something like that. Like there's something here and it may have happened more than one time where you're like, there has got to be someone watching out for me above because there's no way in hell. Like, after all the bad shit you've gone through, and you're so used to bad stuff happening, and I'm not saying it's a statistic, it's not statistics, you know, and it's not just because, you know, there's good police officers and there's bad officers, because there are, but it left you feeling a certain kind of way when this happened. You knew that someone, like, you, you just, you were baffled, and you're like, how the hell, now how the hell did this, you were baffled. Like, that's just the energy. So somebody either got the message. So this Queen of Pentacles could have gotten a message to cut the shit. To end something. To put an end to something. To lay something to rest. Or somebody was trying to stop another person from getting this message as Queen of Pentacles. Because they didn't want to lay something to rest. They would rather you being lying dead cold in a gutter than to let you have your life. Or your freedom. And them not get what they wanted to get from you. Once again, we have a Queen of Swords here who is held in high honor. And this Queen of Pentacles created an injustice and they were trying to keep it hidden. So they were trying to cover up their illegal activities. This person maybe could have wanted to be you. They tried to rob you. This person's not good with money. They were trying to set you up to cover up their illegal stuff. And you may have called them out on it um, or not. But they wanted you out of the picture because you caught on to what they were doing. And maybe you're the first person that they didn't get away with this. They could have done this multiple times to multiple different people. And you're the first one that this person couldn't get away with doing it to. They were Someone was trying to keep it hidden that they lost their Ten of Pentacles after they betrayed you. So someone, someone is going to... And it may not even be you that they betrayed. It could be someone else they betrayed. But there was a betrayal here. And someone lost their financial security and stability. Whatever legacy they were trying to build, something long-lasting, whatever betrayal this was, they lost it. Could be because they're going to jail or prison, or because someone told them to lay some shit to rest and they didn't. And so if they were part of this group or organization, and they didn't follow someone else's orders, this group has a way of handling shit, alright? They, they have a way of dealing with people within this group. And they're not moving on to calmer waters, so someone else is going to be the fall guy here. <sighs> yeah, because they brought themselves under judgment. So there's a queen of wands here who's laying something to rest, someone in a leadership position, supervisor, management, someone in a position of authority, a feminine who is compassionate. There was a lot of talk and gossip about someone fighting battles on their own, all this conflict that someone was fighting, and for what? Why was this Divine Femme going through all this? Who was causing all this and why? Why is someone choosing to fight and have all this conflict with this person? What do they feel like they're going to get from it? That's what I'm hearing within this group. There could have been a secret meeting or something. There's people talking. And someone came under judgment because the truth came out. And they were trying to keep this hidden so that it wouldn't come out. That they were working really hard to keep you distracted. To keep you busy. To keep you fighting battles after battles. They didn't want you to be able to get anything accomplished. They wanted you to be so worried about all this conflict that you couldn't get anything done. But someone also worked really hard to keep this shit going. And you still have an offer coming to you. And there's a person here who you are in a karmic relationship with or a risky commitment with. Someone was in a risky commitment, whether it was you or your ex, who was not your knight in shining armor, who was connected to this person, this feminine, you know, if it was a divine masculine. Take out how it resonates. But there's a risky commitment here. 
and somebody wanted you to keep battling and fighting and struggling and um this person could have spread lies gossip and rumors about you talked all kinds of shit about you they brought themselves under judgment they had they could have had this group attacking you because of whatever they were saying and none of it may have been true they were just being spiteful and vengeful because you possibly rejected them someone's trying to compete with you and that shit's over ten of swords there's something being enlightened, brought to light regarding this risky commitment here. So something is being illuminated about someone that you were in a connection with or about a partnership or a connection, a love connection that someone was in. So there's a Ten of Swords, some sort of competition. Something is being illuminated regarding this risky commitment. And it was someone that I feel like you were partnered up with or there's something being illuminated about somebody that they were partnered up with because you're the empress and someone just wanted to take something that belonged to you a gift or something that was valuable to you or someone was trying to take your partnership or the person that you were in a relationship with there's an empress here who's going to be receiving some happy communication this queen of swords and you're going to be sitting pretty in your nine of pentacles you're going to be relaxing chilling Maybe taking a nice little vacation. I feel like you earned it. Maybe you have something planned off for spring break or something like that. Just don't go. Don't plan on going to Miami. I don't want any tourists there this year. Someone lied about you and someone's telling the truth about you being innocent so someone's lying and someone's telling the truth so it's like someone is trying to badmouth you and talk shit about you and someone is defending you protecting you that's that protective energy coming out you were innocent and someone tried to unalive you for real you may know this but someone is going to tell the truth or speak a truth or you know the truth you have a false twin flame that is stalking you, that could have tried to unalive you. Stalker. You're obsessed, let it go. They had some sort of obsession, they wouldn't let it go. You cut them off, and because you cut them off, with the Wheel of Fortune's in your favor, the Fortune favors the brave. But someone's still throwing rocks and hiding hands, because they don't want you to know what they did, if you knew what I did. I feel like you do. They, I, they really think that you are stupid, and that's the irritating thing. They really, really insults your intelligence because i'm just getting that like how stupid do you think i am kind of shit like you know like just you know damn well someone thinks they're always right and they're not going to apologize so and that's the person who's throwing rocks and hiding hands this person is very narcissistic and they think that they can convince you of whatever because they're smarter than anybody else in the room of course <clears throat> this person did something while they were under the influence of drugs or alcohol and they think you don't know what they did or they thought they hid it from you. Not if you're a seer or psychic or just not fucking stupid like they think you are. They slept with someone you know. Someone slept with someone that someone else knows. So, I mean, you know who they were sleeping with. You know what they were doing while they were under the influence. It's probably why you walked away from them. This person was very selfish. Focus on yourself is in the reverse of someone who's very selfish. When they decided to sleep with someone that you knew. And now they're not happy about it, like who they ended up with. Don't cry about it to someone else. It's not your fucking problem. You don't care. So if there, if there was somebody else, then why are they so worried about you? They changed up on you, and they did something really selfish and stupid. Start treating you like shit, talk shit about you. This could be like within the community. It could be in the workplace. Whatever the situation, people started treating you differently. The truth will shock you. For some of you, the truth may actually shock you. That there are good cops, good law enforcement that's involved here. And someone didn't get the promotion they were expecting to get. So if they, that's because someone was set up. So they're not getting the promotion they thought they were going to get by trying to set someone up. Someone was clout chasing, trying to elevate, climb the ladder off of someone else's hard work. And they were arrogant. I was arrogant in the reverse, so they were arrogant, self 
full of themselves, full of ego. Someone is confused why they couldn't cancel your plans. Or you may be confused. Someone's confused about their plans being canceled. Maybe someone's job's getting canceled. It's because someone's spell work backfired because they were trying to cover up illegal activities and someone's not suffering here. So you're not canceling your plan. Someone wanted you to be suffering because their marriage is like a Jurassic Park. So they could have married this person that they slept with and cheated on you with. They could have married this person, but they're confused. They wanted you to cancel your plans. All the spell work backfired. Someone tried to unalive you for real. And have these whole group of people trying to intimidate you and rob you and set you up for all this shit. Someone's going to kick the bucket, rip me off. Beggars can't be choosers. So someone's planning on someone kicking the bucket when they rip them, rip them off. So this is a planned M word. This is a planning unaliving. And beggars can be choosers. But the irony here is the person that ripped you off could be the one that's going to kick the bucket. And they're the one that someone's going to be begging for their life. I told you this group and organization has a way of handling people within their stuff. Yeah, they wanted you to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. But this person who's bad to the bone. So this is someone within that group or somebody who is trying to do something really dirty to you, like unalive you. That was part of this plot or scheme. They're going to be begging for their life. They may literally just disappear. You may just never hear from them again. Like sleeping with the fishes kind of energy. Like they literally may just disappear. Or something may be made to look like a self-inflicted unaliving. Or an accident just like they tried to do to you. Um, but someone within this group, this organization... They love you. Like, they, they are so enamored by you. Um, they are the ones, whoever that person is, that has been secret, like that King of Cups energy. But it's not this person. This person, like, I, I'm just getting an energy of this person just disappearing off the face of the earth. I don't know if they'll ever find the body. For all intents and purposes, you're going to be free as a bird. Okay, and someone's watching with an eagle eye. Someone's being watched or watching. And they want to make sure that you are set free once and for all to make your own decisions. Because someone has the intention of um, coming towards you with an offer. And they want you to accept it of your own free will. They don't want you to be forced into a, re a relationship with them. They want you to willingly... And lovingly accept their cup of love that they want to offer to you. Whoever this person is. They want something real. And they see you as the real person. They see that you have divine protection. That you're the star. And they know they can't just get one over on you. So there's going to have to be a very certain level of trust. Especially because of this group organization. I don't know how open and honest they're going to be. I know they're... They're going to have to know that you're going to expect them to be open and honest with you because you won't accept someone being sneaky and shady and doing underhanded dealings, but they need to trust you first, whatever that means, okay? Um, this is just the energy. Someone just needs to trust you. Like, this, there's going to have to be some trust here, and so if someone does come towards you with this offer and they've been, you know, helping protect your ass behind the scenes and stuff, there's going to have to be a huge amount of trust and respect and, and this person wants you to make that decision of your own free will. And they want you to be free and easy to make that decision. And if you choose to reject the offer, they have every intention of letting you walk. Because you've survived this long. Whatever the situation is, it's like you've lived through how many unaliving attempts on your life. Um, you've suffered through the worst of the worst. And so at this point, it's kind of like you can choose... Of your own free will to be with this person or to walk away and um, not have any um, further attempts 
you know, like, there may just be this understanding where maybe you just never speak about the situation again or something, you know, like, it, it's just an unspoken thing, like, um, I don't know, if this is your message, you're going to know what I mean by this. It's not someone just, like, trying to get away with something bad that they did to you. It's kind of like, you know, I have all this authority, I have this power, and I can take you out if I want to, but here's the thing. I want to be with you, I want us to love each other, but if that can't happen, you can walk away and we just, like, never speak of this again. But they don't, they don't want to threaten you, but if if you choose to walk away, you, you can go free and easy, free and clear. But if you if you open your mouth and try to cause some trouble, you know, this person um, may not be able to have any control over what happens to you after that if you go running your mouth starting some shit. I'm just saying, there, I'm getting this energy of, like, there's going to be, um, I don't necessarily want to say an ultimatum, but it's kind of going to be an ultimatum. But you're going to be free to make whatever choice you want. But you're going to have to, you're going to have to let it go. You're going to have to be healed enough to just let shit go and not hold on to shit and not try to seek retaliation because these people tie up loose ends and you're technically a loose end that they've been trying to tie up for a while now. You just don't go easy. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, when they try to unalive you, there's multiple attempts, multiple different people who tried to do this. That doesn't mean that all of a sudden, like, the, you know, um, this person doesn't have to call the dogs off. You know what I'm saying? But they're willing to for you. Just you. Whoever you are. Someone else has to bite the bullet, though. This may be a self-inflicted wound, or it may be made to look like a self-inflicted wound. There's a perfect storm here that's created. And someone's watching and they're afraid of his or her own shadow. They're afraid. Especially if they know that someone is watching out for you or if someone finds out about this. And it could even be the female, like the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, who's afraid. Because of what she did. So this could be your ex or this Queen of Pentacles or both of them. Who um, are afraid of with the storm that they created. So your ex ended up with like this gold digger that he can't stand and that's probably married to him. Um, but someone wanted you to lose everything but the kitchen sink here. Um, and someone else is going to have to bite the bullet and they're going to lose everything but the kitchen sink. And then some. I mean, this person um, or both of these people have, um, they have a lot to lose. And they're about to find out just what it costs to be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... Everything that you survived and you went through, that they wanted you to suffer through, and ultimately meet your demise, um, someone's going to find out what that feels like. And let's see how strong they are compared to you. Because I feel like they're not. To add insult to injury, someone's losing their shit. Someone's snapping because they're missing you. But they, but they tried to divide and conquer you. So, I mean, they tried to beat you. And that's why they can't move on to calmer waters. It's because you're the jack of all trades and time was of the essence to get something done and they couldn't get it done. I told you if someone was on a time clock, there was something significant about time or a time clock. There's something significant about February. Someone tried to think outside the box. A Leo could be significant. Someone may have tried to get creative because they knew that something wasn't real love. Someone didn't really love them. They weren't as interested. So this could have been the Queen of Pentacles who was trying to get creative in February. And you could have a clean slate coming to you, a new start, a new beginning. Or somebody wants to have a clean slate. Someone could be trying to think outside the box. And they want to have a clean slate with you, but they may be afraid of this unrequited love offer, like this being set free situation. Someone was not one in a million. Someone was like a common piece of shit gold digger. And someone couldn't love someone who was just a gold digger. This is the calm before the storm. Like something big is about to happen in this situation.
Someone here could be your opposite. This is a situation of the opposites attracting Capricorn and a fine kettle of fish who's not getting their moment of glory. So there's a Capricorn here who's your opposite. It could be your ex or it could be this person who wants to come towards you. Someone's trying to take control of the situation with Take the Tiger by its tail, especially regarding this group. Because someone didn't get their happily ever after. Okay. And whoever is taking control of the situation has been hearing rumors, heard it through the grapevine. So this person's been hearing a lot about you. They're going to hear something. It's going to piss them off. A Gemini could be significant. Someone wants to live under the same roof as you. Or someone heard something about a Gemini. This person could be a Gemini who heard something. Someone didn't read between the lines. That's why they're not getting their happily ever after. They wouldn't quit. They wouldn't listen. Gemini could have been someone that you lived under the same roof as. But there's a Gemini here who you could want to live under the same roof as you. Or someone's hearing something. And it could be someone's hearing something from the person they live under the same roof with. Like getting pissed off and running their mouth. Like this could be a masculine... That it could once again be your ex. And this gold digger is running their mouth about you. And they let something slip. You're moving forward. There's something significant about Friday. You're going to be happy as a clam. Someone wants to kiss and make up with you. I don't know. I don't know. Because someone was as ugly as sin. And someone may want to kiss and make up with you just because they got caught red-handed. Once again, Leo. And then birds of a feather flock together. And they were not able to take something to the next level. And they think that something is like stealing candy from a baby. Like, And you reap what you sow. So there's a group here. And you know what? There's no time like the present. So this is, man, by hook or crook, I can't. They were playing around in your backyard. You caught them because you're sharp as a tack. Man. This group got caught. Alright, person, place, or thing. D. Someone wants to give you the D. Go through the big D and do it mean Dallas. J. Someone's initials could be DJ. Someone could go by the name DJ. Could be a nickname. JD. A. G, I heard a dash or ad, adage, adage or a dodge, something like that. A dodge, I don't know what a dodge is. Sounds like a name kind of V. Like that's a U. And someone may have a gun, someone may need to get one. Someone may be using one or something. Something may be tied to or connected to one. I Someone could end up in the ICU. Oh. Do two more. Another A. So someone could be under the influence and end up in the ICU. R. Oh, an assault rifle could be significant as well. So there's a pew pew. Um, um, an assault rifle here. I feel like someone could be ending up in the ten intensive care unit, okay? Um, someone could also be DOA, dead on arrival. Alright, I hope this helps. Um, have a good day.